Dennis Rodman was on. Well, first of all, he went to North Korea. And uh, then he went on this week with uh, on ABC with George Snuffleupagus. And <clears throat> here, it's a couple of problems. Uh, yeah. I'm not a fan of George uh, Snuffleupagus. A, he hangs out with Donald Rumsfeld's Christmas parties. I don't know if you know about that. I didn't. They hang out, he goes to Donald Rumsfeld's Christmas parties. When his, Ali Wentworth was on uh, the Bill Maher show, mm -hmm. uh, she told an amusing, a heartwarming anecdote about how she was invited to a Christmas party at the Rumsfelds and how they were there and how she had to, go, had to pick out a gift, didn't know what to get them. What do you get a war criminal? <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to pay? Here, here's a, here's a new battery. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you can right. hook it up to someone's genitals. Right, he's, uh, uh, right, when you've already plundered everything. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I, I have a problem with him by that. But, but here he is, uh, so Dennis Rodman goes to North Korea uh, because he's being paid by a media company to do a media stunt, with, and it works, and King Jong-un ends up at the yeah. game, and they end up hanging out. Yeah, they, and, go, they went to a Harlem Globetrotters game. Yeah. So it was revealing in one way is that, hey, look, the Harlem Globetrotters are still around, sort of, <laughs> although they're playing in North Korea. Playing yeah. in North Korea. It's yeah. not, they don't get the best gigs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they switch agency. Not you know? like the 70s. You yeah. go from CAA to APA, that's just going to happen. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're in Pyongyang. <laughs> okay. So, here, uh, so here's George Snuffleupagus, gets Dennis Rodman on the show, good get. <laughs> And uh, here, is, here, here is George Snuffleupagus pretending to be a hard-hitting journalist with somebody who can't hurt his social standing in Georgetown. You said you love Kim and think he's awesome. Were you aware of his threats to destroy the United States and, and his regime's horrendous record on human rights? But, but one thing about that, you know what? I didn't look at all that right there. I understand what he's doing. I don't condone that. I hate the fact that he's doing that, but the fact of it is that, you know what? That's a human being, though. He let his guards down. He did one thing to me, been a friend. I didn't talk about that. I understand that. I understand that. But you think you have her. a responsibility to ask him about it so that you don't be perceived as sort of propping up his regime, his cult of personality? Does Dennis Rodman have a responsibility to ask <laughs> questions of Dennis Rodman? This is George Snuffleupagus. And I said, you know, I, I like George was also, I was shocked that uh, Dennis Rodman's Korea trip won so badly. I thought he was perfect ambassador material. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. Uh, yeah, first of all, if he'd given any money to George Bush, of course, he would have been an ambassador. <laughs> the, uh, although, of course, Barack Obama does that as well. Yes, yes. The, uh, uh, I just like that, like, it's like George, uh, George thinks that he's gotten the criticism from people like you, mm -hmm. from Jews like you, you know what I mean. <laughs> yes. Um, and, uh, uh, who say that he's not tough enough in interviews. And this is his, yeah, oh yeah? Oh, watch well, I'm gonna, this. Watch me hammer Dennis yeah. Rodman. Dennis, don't you think you have a responsibility to ask tougher <laughs> questions? The only t question, the toughest question I expect Dennis Rodman to ask is this North or South Korea? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the big question. Okay, uh, this is why George is still on top. He saves his tough questions for ex-basketball players. Yeah. So he got another, he's got another uh, clip. Let's listen to it. He's a great guy. He's just a great guy. If you sit down and talk to him, you know, perception is perceiving how things work. A great work. guy who puts 200,000 people in prison camps? Well, you know, and guess what? It's amazing how we do the same thing here. We have prison camps here in the United States? First of all, George, yes. We have prison camps here in the United States, but there's a law against calling them prison camps, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're just called prisons, where we, where we imprison uh, black males at six to one ratio towards, towards white males. So mm -hmm. that would be, and you're telling that to a black guy. We imprison more people than China, and you're telling him why didn't he bust Kim Jong-un's balls? Are you kidding me? Why don't you bust somebody's balls here in America? I've never seen you do a segment on our overcrowded prison population and what leads the United States, the land of the free, to lock up more people than China. The uh, uh, black males, 35% of the jail population. Yes. Like five to eight times higher rate of incarceration Racing. in the United States than like every other civilized, developed country in the world. Yes, and right. he's, George is like, duh, are you, we have prison camps there, the man. We have an inequitable justice system right here at home that I'm not doing something about. I like it though that Dennis Rodman accidentally stumbled into an okay point. Yes. <laughs> to go back? I'm a, yes, I am. I'm gonna go back and do one thing and find out more what's really going on. Find out more. Okay, next time you go back, you should bring this uh, report from the Human Rights Watch with you and maybe ask some questions about that uh, as well. You might learn a lot more and it might press him as well. But thank you for coming on this morning and sharing your impressions. Well, either way, either way, guess what I do? Here's the report. Thing. I, I like that how he said, hey, well, next time you go, give him this human rights. Hey, next time you go to a Christmas party over, 
over at Dennis yeah. Ra- Donald Rumsfeld's. Why don't you hand him this uh, human rights report on Abu Ghraib? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, oh just God. for kicks. It might ruin your Sunday soiree. <laughs> it, it might turn the gazpacho soup sour. Right, yeah, I, right. I didn't get you, uh, Ali and I didn't get you anything, but we do have this report from Amnesty International, which you, <laughs> you might like to read over breakfast tomorrow. Turns out waterboarding's been considered torture for 1,400 years. <laughs> I like that also the suggestion that our foreign policy is so fragile to North Korea that it could be undone by a two-day trip of Dennis Rodman to Pyongyang. You never know. Right, yeah. I mean, what, what, what harm was possibly done by this trip? Well, what if the rest of the world uh, mistook Dennis Rodman for our new Secretary of State, John Kerry? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that, that John, could happen. By the way, no question, John Kerry would wear that hat. <laughs> no doubt. No. Hey, 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 guess what? He probably would wear that hat. <laughs> guess what? Guess what? <laughs> guess what? Okay. So I don't know if, and next Sunday, I don't know, I'm, I've already have it set for TiVo. George is going to discuss Iran's nuclear capability with Omarosa and Mike the Situation. <laughs> oh, good. That'll be, that'll be good. He'll hammer them, too.